So I showed you already how to mix chalk and fume silica into your paint. These two mediums are already linseed oil mixed with chalk on the right, the impasto putty, and fume silica mixed with linseed on the left, which is called oleogel. Those are both from natural pigments. I'm just gonna show you how each of these mediums mix into the paint to get the same effects that I got when I mixed in the dry media. This just makes a nice shortcut. Um, they're both really affordable mixtures. I want to show you how the chalk impasto putty mixes into dark colors, which you don't really like because you can see it lightens the dark colors. But the oleogel, which is the fume silica based medium, doesn't darken that blue. It just makes a really beautiful glaze. I'm going to show you how it also mixes into the Indian yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that because I'm going to compare side by side the two yellow paints. So on the left, it's got the oleogel. You can see the brush strokes look more like a glaze. On the right, I'm actually putting even more chalk dust in. So even though I add chalk dust, it's really nice to start with the impasto, which is chalk dust based uh, medium mixed with linseed oil. I start with that impasto paste or I start with the Velazquez medium, which is also just chalk in linseed oil, just a little bit lighter quantities. And that gets a nice start. So then you can add in the amount of chalk that you want. I'm gonna show you some brush strokes in each of these to show you how thick and chunky it is on the right. This really looks like a Velazquez painting or a Rembrandt painting. Uh, those Baroque paintings with really chick, really thick, chunky texture. And then this beautiful, nice glaze. Like you can glaze with a medium to a light, a dark, medium to a dark value color. 